Patrick Mahomes and Juju Smith-Schuster have really developed their connection. Look at this. Over that span, Mahomes has completed 22 of 25 passes for 325 yards and two touchdowns when targeting Smith-Schuster, who has resulted, that has resulted in a near-perfect 99 QBR. Hey, Pat, just keep throwing it to Juju. Hey, Dan, why has Juju had such a big impact here, though, in recent weeks? I don't think he's playing a receiver anymore. I, I really oh. believe that they've kind of moved him into a tight end type of role. He's Travis yeah. Kelsey 2.0. And he's working in the middle of the field, and his feel, I mean, he's getting his eyes back to Patrick and zone in such a good space where, like, he turns around, ball's already on his way, and you don't see, there's no more dancing out of Juju. It's catch and go, catch and get up the field. And that hidden yardage that he's kind of producing for their offense has been a big deal. They're not asking him to run down the field. Speed has never been a part of his game. He's a little bit more like a flex tight end right now for this offense than your quote-unquote at least in Pittsburgh, traditional wide receiver. It's called dodge one, split two, and that's what he's been able to do. Duck, Ooh, you see dodge, how I did that? And, and so when you when you talk about a guy like this, he could break tackles. Now, he's not going to be strong. Right. He's not going to be a home run hitter, but he's going to be very field productive. In the middle of the field. Yeah, when you throw it to him on third and three, it winds up being first and ten, but you totally. pick up with the 15 yards. Totally so it's agree. all like Dan saying. Totally agree. And his ability to kind of like see it the same way as Patrick is allowing Patrick, that's why the numbers are, he's got right. such confidence in him right now. So, there's And no on top of that, Laura, he's playing with Kelsey and a bunch of good receivers. He's not stuck right. in Pittsburgh he, where it's just got not anything. These, he's, he's complimented well. I, I'm curious about Kelsey because he's still, we would all agree, right, the go-to target no matter what yeah. in big moments. How does it benefit him to have a player like Juju stepping up the way that he does? Because well, if you're looking at Kansas City's offense right now, you're still going to sit there and say, well, we got to stop Kelsey. Well, then right. Juju continues to have an impact. At some point, defenses are going to go, well, Juju is actually the guy right now that he's going to, and that's going to free up Kelsey. It also allows Kelsey to move around in their formations a little bit more. We saw, remember, earlier in the Raiders game, earlier this season, Kelsey was, like, soloed by himself. Yep. That's still going to be a big part, but he's having a little bit more flexibility in their formations and if you put a well. if you put a linebacker on Juju, he wins. You put a strong safety on him, he wins. Smaller corners, you he wins yeah. because he's bigger. He's yeah. the, he's the, right yeah. now he's the guy in man in zone. He's zone, he's, the a zone, zone. zone. he's a zone receiver. He's Travis always been the a zone guy receiver. in man. Miko's a little bit in man. MVS a little bit like the zone guy right now is Juju. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.